All right, I'm here with my little helper, Elena, and she's gonna help me make some coffee. Are you gonna help Daddy make some coffee? Yeah? yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and do that, okay? What a good helper, babe. Look at all that cold coffee for Daddy. Okay, come here. Okay, okay, oh, that's a lot of cream. Can you stir it up? Yeah. Oh, it's on my pants. Yeah. Alright, today's Saturday. It's family day. We've got a couple of things to do today. Lucas and I are gonna get our hair cut. Um, I've gotta stop by the camera store and pick up a couple of things. And I'm trying to figure out what to make for dinner tonight. I'm super excited because I just got a bunch of sous vide equipment. So after today, I'll be fully set up from a sous vide perspective. This is a Sears all attachment. So this goes on the other end of this, which is a torch that you can put on a small propane tank. And this will help us to get really nicely seared steaks without having to throw them in a cast iron skillet. And as much as I love my cast iron skillet, it does take a while to preheat. And you know, it takes a couple of minutes to season and maintain after you're done. So the sears all could help us to produce just as good of a results um, without any of the hassle. So we're gonna head out today. Um, I'm gonna get myself a propane tank. Lucas and I might pick up up a couple of steaks for dinner so that we can test all this stuff out. I'll also step you through everything that I'm eating today. So I'm starting the day with some cold brew iced coffee. In the cold brew iced coffee, it, I typically put a couple of tablespoons of heavy cream and some MCT oil. That makes it about a couple hundred calories and, um, and it's actually really satiating. Um, that'll hold me over until late afternoon. I'll bring a zip fizz with me just in case for some energy and for some hydration. And then I don't think I'll eat again until about three or four. And that'll probably be my dinner for the day. But I got a few hundred calories there to play with. If I'm feeling hungry in the middle of the day, I should be able to have something else. So we'll just kind of play it by ear. Since we're going to be going multiple places today, I'm going to go ahead and fill up the Yeti cooler with some ice. This is the smallest Yeti cooler that I think they make, the Yeti Rodi 20. When we bought it, I was a little skeptical because it was a little bit of an investment. It's kind of expensive for its capacity, but we've made so much use of it. It's definitely the most used cooler that we have ever purchased before. And I think that's just because it will keep things cold, even in sweltering heat, all day. So definitely worth the investment if you're thinking about picking one up. Okay, so because we have so many things to do today, Monica and I are taking two separate cars. Ellie is not happy about it. Are you doing okay? She's mad. Do you have tears in your eyes? I love you, I'll see you at Trader Joe's, okay? Don't be sad, Daddy loves you. Are you and mommy finding good stuff? We are. I want hummus. You want hummus? Luke, yeah. are you trying to find a jerky snack for people? Yeah. Yeah, which ones have you looked at? Yeah. Uh, this one, this one, this one. Uh, What's wrong with those? Grams, grams of sugar and grams of carbohydrates. Too many grams of sugar, too many grams of carbohydrates? Yeah. Okay, how about that one you're holding though? Well, Zero grams of carbohydrates, zero grams of sugar, nine grams of protein. Oh, really? How many grams of fat? Uh, six grams. Yeah? What do you think? Is that a good choice? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to get one for everybody. Okay, why don't you look at the other flavors too and see if you want to try those? Pick up a couple and throw them in the cart. 
It just goes to show you that you have to be careful, even with something that looks healthy. So these are kale chips, but it has cane sugar in it. And it's got three grams of sugar per serving and a fair amount of carbs, which is a shame because these are delicious without any of that stuff in it. All right, so we finished up at Trader Joe's. We got yelled at a little bit for filming in this store, so I think we're gonna either not do that again or be a lot more discreet next time. Um, but I'm heading over to the camera shop. I've got to pick up a couple of things. I'm gonna meet Monica and the kids there. Are you guys happy? Yeah? Are you behaving in the camera store? So just wrapped up at the camera store. It's kind of an expensive trip. I got myself a new light, a couple of new lenses. This is an expensive hobby. Uh, so Lucas and I just finished getting our hair cut. You look real handsome, bud. I know, my butt's getting hot. So Luke and I are pretty hungry. Um, we've made it through about half the day. Actually, Lucas had breakfast. I've been fasting since last night. We're gonna go to Whole Foods and see if we can get anything keto friendly for lunch. You got some Zevia? Yeah, Zevia. I know why Zevia has no sugar, no artificial sweeteners, and it contains caffeine, and it's sweet and not with it. Da, da, da. my nose because I just burped right now. <laughs> How's the barbecue, bud? Brisket's good. Alright. Mm. Oh. Mm. Those short ribs are not bad at all. Pretty decent. Alright. It's time to hydrate with some zip fizz. So Lucas and I are back from our great shopping adventure. Hey Luke, do you wanna do you wanna show everybody some of the stuff we got? Well, we got two different types of kimchi for Mama. Yeah. Country style sliced kimchi. Yeah. And country style premium kimchi with oyster. We got some really good Tupperware at H Mart. Surprisingly, H Mart has amazing Tupperware, and um, so we picked up a couple of those. I've got this little cute one, and then I've got like this slightly bigger one for all my queso. We've got these small slices of American Wagyu tri-tip. Tri-tip is generally one of my favorite cuts of meat. It's more of a California thing. I haven't really seen it that much outside of California. This is the first time I've seen it since um, since we moved to Texas. So I'm excited to give that a try. And then we have some Kobe ribeye. Both of these cuts of meat are super thin, which will be a great test to see if the sears all can maintain the constant temperature of the cook inside while providing a nice sear on the outside without overcooking on the inside. We got some propane canisters. This is for the sears all. That's the fuel source for that. I'll show you that probably in a separate video. I got a new wide angle lens for my big camera. I'm really, really excited about this, but also have a little bit of buyer's remorse. This is a really expensive lens. It's a 16 to 35 2.8 G Master for those of you who know what any of that means. And then I got some lighting so that our videos don't look as janky um, in the evenings when we film late at night. All right, that's all we got. I'm gonna get this stuff put away and then I'll record another video tonight cooking the steak and seeing how that turns out. So cannot wait for that. So I just finished shooting a cooking video. We sous vide the steaks and we flame kissed them with the sears all and the results are delicious. Mommy, would you agree? Um, yes, I want all of them. All of the pieces of steak are mine. What are you eating? I mean, I, I may have roped off a little bit of it for myself. So with that being said, I'm gonna have my last meal of the day. 
which is some of this delicious steak and a generous serving of that kimchi that we picked up at H Mart. And with that, my calories are in the books for today. All right, so when all was said and done, I was about 67% fat, 32% protein, and 1% carbohydrate. Um, that's a little less fat than I prefer to get in a given day, but I'm stoked I was able to keep carbs so low. Total calories were just shy of 2,100 calories, which for my size should be a solid deficit for the day. So I'm gonna put today in the win column and I'm gonna stuff my face with the steak. Mmm. Mm-mm.